Hey guys, I'm Quinn Marie with Red Carpet Report. We are here at the Paley Fest Fall TV Preview, where we're going to be talking to the cast and creators of the hit MTV show, Faking It. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the show. So how has the response been from fans uh, for Faking It, dealing with all these teen issues that are pretty true to life? Yeah, uh, it's been amazing. It's been really great. And, and we keep hearing from fans who say that Faking It helped them come out to their parents or helped them... Uh, like feel less alone or help them get through a bad day. And so to feel that out there and to feel like we're putting that out there, I think all of us just, we feel very grateful that we're <laughs> grateful to MTV for putting the show on the air, but also grateful to be able to do that. Side note and congratulations on the Teen Choice Award. Thank you. Breakout show, Breakout right? Breakout show, yeah. Breakout show, nice. Um, was there any issues, like some of the, the, the storylines you guys come up with, did you have any, anybody being like, no, like the three to tango episode, was there any kind of apprehension about that from other people? Uh, no, actually. I mean, we, we, I think the network was a little nervous. They wanted to make sure we handled it correctly. Uh, once we turned in the outline, they saw sort of the, the path of the show. They were like, go for it. Just have fun. I think they enjoy, I think we all enjoy that this show uh, pushes boundaries, but it has at its core, I think, a very good spirit and a good heart. Uh, we're not trying to just be sensational. We're trying to tell stories that really people connect with. I think that MTV does a good job of shows like doing that, like keeping it real, but not making it super uh, bubbly because that's not what it's like. Yeah, and and it's, I'm a, I feel like I'm such a good fit with MTV because we both hate like too too sweet moments. Like when things get too too after school specially, I'm like, oh, cut it off. So, you know, and they feel I think the same way. So we, I, they get me, I get them, and we're really having a great relationship working together. So yeah, it's cool. Can you tell us a little bit about the second season? Yeah, I will tell you a bunch of things. Well, we, the theme is guilt. Because Carm, uh, Amy and Liam have a guilty cigarette and they feel bar terrible about it. Karma feels guilty about rejecting Amy. Uh, Shane feels guilty that he didn't tell Liam the secret earlier. Uh, and then Lauren's secret is going to come out, and she's going to—it's just going to rock her world. And we're going to learn more about why she's got her walls up, why she is so feminine and so traditional. Uh, and it becomes a real story engine for her for the rest of the season. There's going to be some new romances. Yeah, which will be really fun. Um, we've got some great big moments like drama club auditions. It's going to be a school carnival. Uh, and then our finale, I think, is going to rival our first season finale in terms of it's shocking, yeah, it's nature, so it's gonna be fun. Can you tell us anything about uh, the Laverne Cox appearance? Ah, uh, yes, she plays the head of Dr Hester's Drama Club, okay. like the, te the drama teacher, and she's super intense, and she killed it she, when she was on set. She's so awesome, it was so fun having her on set. And basically there's one spot because one of the members of uh, Hester's Elite Drama Club books a commercial and moves to Los Angeles for pilot season. So uh, there's a spot. And uh, Lauren, Shane, and Karma all go out for the spot. So it gets it's intense competition. Awesome. Well, congratulations. The show is Thank awesome. Thank you so much. So Thank nice you. to meet you. Thanks for watching, guys. Tell me you like this video by hitting like and also subscribe for more interviews. And leave me a comment with your thoughts about faking it. Who do you want to end up together?